Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to The Last Monday, which is a horror game that stars a cat that may or may want to eat lasagna. Run, hold left shift. A little bit of a dreamy place, huh? Must have terrible, uh, property values. No one wants to live out here. Oh my god, it's one single stop sign! I'm in a Walmart! The stop sign doesn't want me to go anywhere. We'll see about that. Later. <laughs> Ooh! I think the stop sign's literal. How you doing? I lost my key, can you find it? Are you sitting on it? You, uh... Not Garfield, um... Marfield? Your own original character, no copyright infringement intended? Odie's house? Reach inside. This is gonna work out. Garage door opener. Locked. She has a lot of locked doors around here. I still think you're hiding the key. You really don't want me opening that garage. Play me. What are you hiding there, Marfield? Yeah, so you were hiding the key. Oh, okay, it's for the basement. Oh no! While you're down there, I need you to do something for me. What? My master has made a mess and drawn all over the walls. Your master? You can cover up using spray paint. Not yet. This is a surreal game. There. Take the walkie-talkie so I can help you through the house. Sure. Where's John at, anyways? Locked. Got milk. Locked. As I go back to my original point, there is a lot of locked places in this house. Great job, that's all the sigils in the basement. My master's keeping something of mine that's safe down there. Get it for me. It's keeping lasagna away from you. Keys. Useless. Stay inside. Safe inside. Bad kitty, don't look. Lies, liar, lies. Don't listen. Kitty eat it everything. Oh, those are symbols. Only safe inside, safe. Outside is dreams. I did think it had kind of like a dreamy atmosphere. In a bad way. Not like a developer bad way, but just like, it a nightmare. Blah blah blah, dumb music. Blindfold? 
Time out. What do you get a CD? I miss kitty. No kitty. 01876. Can't leave. Yeah. What is that, cat? Very to the villa can hide. Hide from what? That is John. Usually it's like John is the one hiding, right? The cats could still be the bad guy. Run upstairs before a master catches you. Okay, we're good. Peanut and Jones. The bucket. This place looks kind of dreary. That's holds. Light bulb. What would you describe this horror genre as? Because there's a, there's some things out there like this. I wouldn't say it's like a full on retro style. Um, because it's not going for like that full VHS look. As it's got a little bit of it. This is pretty like you can actually see what's going on. Um, like retro dream, like surreal dream like horror. I am not the master. Huh. Okay, that one's done. No one over there. Looks like that's the house right there. Open books. This is locked. October 31st. Yeah, it's Halloween. Nothing here. From what I could tell, anyway, there's nothing there. It could be secrets. Good, now fully relic into the oven. What? This place got hot. Yeah, that theme song is like, it just makes this whole thing like a weird. Fever dream. You're gonna burn them, right? Yay! Yay. Yay. Did, did you, Dad, do what you wanted? Whatever it was. Yeah, you got a lasagna. The relic was a lasagna we made along the way. <laughs> Thank you for playing. Secret. So I wasn't sure I'll use the, um, that's it for the last Monday demo anyway. I wasn't sure I'll use the CD. I did play for this game multiple times, trying to comb over it, but, um, I didn't see a good spot to use it. It might be a teaser for something like in the full game. Um, because the only gap I thought there could have been, because the CD only seems to spawn when you open up the garage door. And so it can't be before that. And I didn't really see like an avenue in the basement for where you could use it, so I'm um, not sure. I'm not saying it's like you can't use it, I'm just saying like I haven't found it yet. You're welcome to try. So, there has been... Garfield for some reason has like, maybe because of the Gorefield thing, has been used in horror quite a bit. Um, This one's going for that, kind of like I said, that kind of like retro dreamy, not quite VHS, but like a it's like, it's like retro surreal horror kind of thing. But it did have the right look and feel. Uh, it had the right atmosphere, that kind of soundtrack and the kind of overall vibe that you got from the game. But I thought it was a pretty decent showing.
So I look forward to uh, the full release. There is a danger with these type of games that they kind of drop the ball. I, I'm not, it's not quite analog horror, but they, they, they kind of lose the direction of what they initially do, like the tightness. But we'll see. Anyway, so I think I'll watch you play the last Monday. I'll see you guys later and take it easy.